Hi, my name is Steve Goodrow with Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. In addition to OS-based always-on security mechanisms, such as ASLR, DEP, SEHOP, etc., as well as faster zero-day response times, Acrobat and Reader have been provided with a number of robust security features. These features can be controlled via the user interface or at the registry plist level by Enterprise IT. Some of these features can also be locked by administrators so that the end user can't change the organizational settings. This video shows you how to tune for security the user interface as well as how those settings map to the registry. Protected view in Adobe Acrobat 10 for Windows sandboxes process so to limit what malicious code can accomplish on an affected machine. Let's take a look at how the configuration is set in Adobe Acrobat 10. Let's launch Adobe Acrobat. Go to Edit, Preferences, and in the Categories pane, go to Security, Enhanced. Please note that Enable Enhanced Security is on by default, and Protected View is set to All Files. Now there are three settings for Protected View. All Files, which is the default, files from potentially unsafe locations, and off. You also have the opportunity here to set the cross-domain log file if you're troubleshooting those issues. Now, let's take a look at what that feature enabled does when you open up a PDF file. Note, the yellow message bar gives you the message, protected view. The file originated from a potentially unsafe location. It has the opportunity for you to learn more and help. And you have enable all features, which means you trust this document. And if you trust this document, you can click on that button and then you are in full-fledged Acrobat. There is another area where you can set these preferences and it's in the registry. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's the location for the protected view preference in the registry. It's under HKEY Current User, Software, Adobe, Adobe Acrobat, 10.0, Trust Manager. And there's the setting, High Protected View. There's also the setting for Enhanced Security Standalone and Enhanced Security in the browser. There are also several registry entries that can lock down or disable certain features within Adobe Acrobat, and let's have a look at those. They are located in the registry once they're added, and we're going to do them here by registry file, and then take a look at them. They're located under HKEY Local Machine, Software, Policies, Adobe, Adobe Acrobat, 10.0, Feature Lockdown. The first setting I'd like to talk about is called B, Disable Temporary File Protected View. This specifies whether the protected view is disabled for files located within the temporary internet files directories. The next setting I'd like to talk about is B, Enable Always Outlook Attachment Protected View. This specifies whether Protected View is turned off for Outlook attachments. And then there is I, Protected View. This setting specifies whether Protected View is invoked for files originating from an untrusted location. There are also two other settings that I'm going to talk about. There's B, Disable Trusted Folders, and B, Disable Trusted Sites. These two settings disable the ability for users to edit the Trust Manager settings. Let's have a look. Note that under Protected View, selections are disabled. Also, in the Privileged Locations area, 
the ability to add file, add folder path, or add hosts has also been disabled. You can also make this setting change in your deployment package via the Adobe Customization Wizard under the Security section and in the area of Prevent End User to Add Trusted Files and Folders and Prevent End User to Add Trusted Hosts. If you'd like to know more about the registry entries for Protected View and Adobe Acrobat in general, have a look at the Administrator's Information Manager, which is available on adobe.com. It's located in the Enterprise Administration Acrobat family of products, and it's the second entry. AIM contains the preference reference, which is a dictionary of 400 registry and P-list level preferences and other resources. There's also the application security guide and other documents, which are located at http colon forward slash forward slash www.adobe.com forward slash go forward slash learn underscore ACR underscore app security underscore EN. And here's a quick look. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time.